to our public hearing. City Attorney, this is item 10A, Ordinance Number 2016-27. This is our second reading of adopting the county's curb stoning ordinance. Again, this is the adoption of the curb stoning ordinance. Um, we had some confusion on that the last time. I just want to make sure that we are looking in uh, specifically at the curb stoning ordinance that we're picking up from the county. Oh, you're correct. Okay. You're going to read the ordinance? Yes. Ordinance number 2016-27 of the City of Lake Worth, Florida, amending Chapter 7, Beaches, Parks, and Recreation, Article 6, Municipal Beach Area, Municipal Beach, Section 7-69, Commercial Activities, Pedaling, amending Chapter 21, Traffic, Article 1 in General, Section 21-21, Ability of Hobbies County Curbstoning Ordinance. The drive of Hobbies County Curbstoning Ordinance shall apply within the municipal limits of the City of Lake Worth, perhaps their ability to repeal applause and codification and effective date. So moved. Second. 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 Any public comment cards? Okay. Seeing we are not, all those in favor state so by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. New business item 12A, ordinance number 2016-28. This is the first reading of an amendment to the sister city board composition and schedule the public hearing date for October 18th, 2016. City Attorney, would you read the ordinance, please? Move to receive and file. Okay. Got a motion in a second. What, 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 what was the motion? Moved, receipt, and file. Is that, in other words, better to adopt this ordinance? Not just a district. We don't want to hear it. Uh, the brush up on my yeah, Robert's rules on that one. A rule it means we're not going to entertain the, the issue at all. They're like moving the table. It. No, it's not a table. It's it's for Stephen file. Thank you for bringing it forward, but we're not going to entertain it. Pamela, first of all, I, I don't believe I heard a second to the motion, but receiving file means just exactly yeah. what the vice mayor had said. And does it require it's a second? Yes. Yes. It does require a second. So, is there a second? The motion fails for lack of a second. Thank you. We've got a. Do I have a motion on the floor? May I make a comment or we need to? We need a motion and then a second and then you can comment on it. Madam Mayor, would you like the city attorney to read this ordinance? Yes, please. And he was going to do that. Ordinance number 20. I asked him to do that, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay. She did. <laughs> ordinance number 2016 28 of the City of Lake Report, amending Chapter 2, Article 15 of the Code of Ordinance, amending Section 2 122 membership to decrease the number of members of the City of Lake Report, the City Board, and amending the term of service. Private severability, private repeal, ordinance and conflict here with right of convocation and providing for an effective date. I have a motion first? Yes. Motion. 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 motion to adopt the ordinance. And the second? Second. Okay. What is with the barometric pressure goes crazy? Everything goes crazy. Are you calling it crazy, Madam Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, I said everything. Oh. I didn't say you. No. Okay. Uh, Madam Mayor, if yes. I could. Uh, I did bring this forward. Uh, the Sister City Board has met uh, it's four or five times now. Uh, we have three members that show up faithfully and are ready to proceed with making something happen there. Um, unfortunately, the way the board is established currently as a seven-member board, it requires us to have four attendees, which we haven't yet had. If we drop down to a five-member board, then we only need three members to make a quorum, which we already have, and that still leaves two other positions, um, one that we're going to fill and another that would still be vacant if the board has the membership to grow. So I think in uh, reverence to those uh, residents who have shown up faithfully to make something happen with that meeting, I think that we should adopt this ordinance and allow the board to proceed. How does that change? I understand why you're saying it, and I feel for you because I know that you've had issues with it. Does that change anything, Glenn? I just need to know from a legal standpoint, based on what the rules are. Because we have we have adopted rules for all boards, have we not? With a certain amount of members, and not. And, and this would amend that. If you pass this ordinance, you'd specifically be saying that for this board, you're going to go with five members. So you, you have the authority to do that. Correct. And when it was, if I may, Madam Mayor. Yeah. When this uh, ordinance was originally created back in, I want to say, 2010-ish, uh, it was originally created as a five-member board, and then the following year or two, it was requested to increase the membership to seven members. So I believe Commissioner Ryan's uh, comment is to revert it back to its original um, number of members so that he can meet a quorum. Any comments? Please adopt this. 
this ordinance. Vice Mayor. Yeah, it would seem to me that if we have trouble with folks not showing up for the for the board meetings, that that would indicate some level of maybe a lack of interest in the in the the committee itself. And um, you know, the commissioner himself, when he was a member of the board, didn't show up. So I think it's time to maybe consider dissolving this board altogether because, frankly, it's it's ineffective. I mean, we don't change the rules just because you don't have the numbers. And, and just keep paring it down, paring it down, paring it down. That's not how the process is supposed to work. I would just bring up one thing, and I wanted to talk about this in my comments, and then I bypass my comments. With the storm coming, let's just think about this. One of our sister cities is St. Mark. Got hammered by the storm. This is a perfect place, time, to do something for St. Mark. I mean, and have the sister city board actively you know, creating some sort of fundraiser that we can do, collection of goods, emergency supplies, things. You don't have to have a board to do you that. You don't need to have a board, but this is the perfect type of thing that would be, you know, being that it is our sister city that was, you know, that, that just went through this and is probably going to have an aftermath. These are the kind of things that that board should be active to do those types of things. And I know I've appointed several of my own people. Let me tell you something. I've appointed... Three members, or the two members or three members that went bye bye, mm -hmm. that, did, that didn't do it, and they had all the best ambitions in the world to do it. So, I mean, I think that if this gives that board a chance, and that we could actively be doing things that maybe when we're doing worthwhile functions on this board, people will be more apt to be more involved in this board to do more meaningful things. I, I, you know, that's my personal opinion, Commissioner McCoy. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Oh. Yeah, I I think it's, in, for starters, it's not a true statement that we keep paring it down, we keep and we keep and we keep. That that implies a pattern. It was raised from five to seven. Very few of our boards have seven people on them. It is simply reverting to five. So that's quite a reasonable thing. It's not necessarily doing it to achieve a quorum. It's doing it because you know, that's a reasonable number to have on it. And let's, and it's, how can one be against a city sister board, a sister city board? It's a reasonable thing to have for some of the exact reasons that the mayor said. And also, we have relations with Finland. We have a lot of settlers that have a connection to Finland. We have relations to other parts of the world. Um, it opens our minds. It opens our conduct with other parts of the world. It can even lead to tourism and further business. It's pretty hard to find a problem with that. So I certainly am in favor of uh, supporting it, and I hope that we all will. Got a motion on the floor and a second. Yes, Vice Mayor. Sure. Commissioner, you know, all the in the world are not going to change the fact that we're getting nothing out of this board. The things that the, the mayor mentioned just a moment ago are things that this community historically has done without the, the assistance of the sister city board. Mm -hmm. For example, the ambulance and the, and the supplies that were sent to Haiti, Keep that was done above and beyond the sister city board. So, you know, why go through the motion if folks don't want to participate? You're welcome to vote then against it if you'd like. And I probably will. Okay. Because we keep changing the rules. I just look at people like, you know, look at Rita Lowe, who was involved. I mean, you, there's a lot of members that have spent a lot of time, you know, to, to show up at this board, whatever. I mean, I think that that people will participate in a board if they're doing something worthwhile. And because it hasn't been activated in a long period of time, because of inactivity, that they haven't had a chance to do worthwhile projects. We need a lot of extra things around this city and anybody wants to participate, the people that do keep showing up year after year, even when they're not don't have a quorum, I appreciate and, and value their time that they've participated. <coughs> I just want to make a comment. My board member shows up. Thank you, Marion. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can I make a comment on this? No. no. Oh yeah you can. I fell out of card. <laughs> not from the not from the uh Okay. Vice, Vice Mayor, did you want to say something first yeah, before I go to the As I recall, the FAB board had a trouble, had some trouble there for quite some time uh, with getting a quorum and had difficulty. And we didn't pare down the, the membership of that board to keep it intact and moving. And uh, that looks sad. It's thriving. Right. And what Commissioner Amorosa just said was we didn't dissolve them either. 
Well, I, I commented before that we have 17, 15 different volunteer boards or whatever. Yeah. To, you know, and if we're not going to get quorums for some of these boards, maybe we need to start contracting the number of boards. I think that's the least of our problems, but no. you can have your have a right to whatever you think. It's not controversial to me. It's a board trying to do good stuff. I don't see any problems, but that's we're all entitled to our opinion. Peggy Fisher, followed by Mary Ann Polizzi. Peggy Fisher, 508 North A Street. I just wanted to correct something that was said that's not correct from the dais, and that was that we have many boards with uh, five members. Most of your advisory boards, other than as it relates to a pension, are seven member boards consistently. Um, and as far as our sister cities, I think as a community, we could do something to any city that is in need. And I know of two sister cities, one over in England and in Haiti, you talked about something with Finland, well, you know, we could have a sister city in every country, but I think as a community, we, as someone said, we don't need a board. The people that are involved and want to be involved with this will get involved. I mean, look at the proliferation of uh, little free libraries throughout our city. That wasn't done by the library board. That was started by one individual who has put a lot of effort into it. And so, whether it's a five-member board or a seven-member board, let's just get our facts straight and understand that as a community, we can do anything we want to help another community. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Ann Blizzy. Mary Ann Blizzy, 1529 South Palm Way. I joined the Sister City Board uh, four months ago. I've attended every single one, closed the shop a half an hour early to make sure that I attended. Um, and I appreciate that Commissioner Meyer has attended every single one. Um, despite the fact that we've not met quorum, Rika and um, myself and the other person were there every single time. We do have another member that forgot or he didn't receive his papers in time to come. Um, so that left four. We would, have re we would have had a quorum last month. And I'm sure that this month we will. Um, it's important that we reach out to the other sister cities, and like you said, with what Haiti went through, I think this is a perfect opportunity to reach out to those people. And without, I mean, I believe that each city has a sister city board. And to do away with it, I... That's not the motion. I'm making a public well, comment. One, yeah, one at a time, please. Thank you, Your Vice Mayor. We've got a motion on the floor and a second. All the public comments been heard. All those in favor, state so by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. I said aye. I can hear you. Sorry. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Moving on to item 12B, resolution number 47-2016. Identify the local roadways to be improved and identify the Citizens Advisory Committee if a proposed bond referendum is approved. 